Hi, we're here today with our pressure filtration system. This one can run up to 10 gallons per minute. You're going to see down here is our liquid pump. Right here is our actual filter. Inside the filter, you're going to have a filter bag. This one's a one micron filter bag. I will put it in this mesh screen. After that, you just drop it all in as one part. Make sure to press it around the edges. There's a small metal ring in the inside that keeps it nice and firm to allow for no blow by. And it's pressed in and put the top on. This comes fitted with the displacement cylinder right here that keeps all your fats and waxes to the outside to make sure they get filtered out. There's also a pressure release on the top right here along with this input valve if necessary to clean out the filter with nitrogen. You also have the gauge for the top end and the bottom end. You'll see the pressure in the top should be more than the bottom when you are filtering your material. I'm going to do a demonstration run with ethanol today. Start out by clamping down the top nice and firm. These are just the three eye bolts. I've already connected my air hose to my liquid pump down here. It's connected with a one quarter inch flare fitting. The gauge right here will show the pressure on the input. That's how much I have in my compressor hooked up to it. Right here is the valve to turn on the pump. The pump will suck liquid through this hose here. This is just a bucket of ethanol. It'll pass it through the filter and it will spray out of here into this clean bucket right here. So I'm going to turn on the pump slowly. It'll start by making a shaking noise because it's a diaphragm pump. You will see some movement within the filter. It is meant to be bolted to the floor. We do not have it bolted right now as it's just a demonstration. So I'm going to turn on the pump here with the output up to 125 psi. I'm going to make sure my valve is open before I start. And then I'm going to turn on the pump now. The pump is going to start sucking in liquid. And when it does, you will hear a change in the tone of the pumping. So here we go. So this is about 10 gallons per minute, and it's a maximum flow rate for this unit. If you'd like to, you can close the bottom and then you can detach hoses or change buckets or whatever. It'll hold up to 125 psi before the blow-off valve will reach. It is also the maximum output for the pump. Thanks for watching.